back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be talking about the third film in the uh jeepers creeper series the film that we actually should have gotten i'm not going to be addressing uh much of what went on in the film that we actually got and the film that we were promised for quite some time i'm just going to talk about a film that we should have gotten a film that actually could have been much better than what we actually got it's the prequel we deserved and we we weren't promised a prequel for over a decade we were promised a follow-up that was going to take place 23 years after the events of the first two films uh but victor salva decided that he was going to uh come up with another story set in between the first and second films to fit the budget for the fact that uh the budget they were given to work with by the studio wasn't enough to actually get the cathedral script made so he uh wrote a, wrote together a script that was taking place in between the first and second films now the interesting thing about jeepers creepers uh jeepers creepers 3 is how the film itself it it takes place in between the first and second film when it really it, it really didn't have to do that it, it's a prequel that takes place before jeepers creepers 2 uh we could have gotten a prequel a prequel that took place before part one and part two not just a prequel that took place before part one but after part two that kind of just made everything a little bit too messy they started putting in things that were not always there from the very get from the very beginning especially when the film is claiming to be set mere seconds after what happened in the first film several things go on with the creepers truck that i just refuse to accept uh several things go on that it, it, what bothers me the most is the truck it's the truck nothing in regards to the creeper's powers bother me it's just his truck i feel like the truck the truck doing all that stuff that was way too over the top for a movie that's supposed to be set right after the original film uh but the actual film we could have gotten could have focused on two characters that we had some history kind of explained to us a bit by Derry before he ended up falling victim to the creeper in the end of the film jeepers creepers 3 could have been a, a a prequel set in 1978 following the two uh high school sweethearts we heard mentioned we had mentioned in the original film kenny and darla K actually kenny brandon he was in jeepers creepers 3 but he wasn't even the same kenny brandon that was uh another thing that that is it bothers me to my Oh, it bothers me to my core of what's wrong with Jeepers Creepers 3. I don't know why Kenny Brandon is a white man in Jeepers Creepers 3 when he is he's not white just a few short short seconds earlier to that when Derry found him. When Derry found him, he was black. So I just found it quite lazy to I, I, I just don't understand that. I don't understand that whatsoever. Uh I, that that whole that whole thing bothers me uh we could have focused on kenny and darla jeepers creepers 3 could have been set in the year 1978 we could have followed the two high school sweethearts and we could have followed them and see, had like a similar type of tale that we had with trisha and dairy could have it could have uh brought brought a lot of nostalgia to the fact that the film could have been handled the same way the first movie was uh but in this case it's two lovers and we get to see how we get to see what happened of course we know what's going to happen to them if we've seen the original film we know Derry finds their corpses down in uh the creeper's house of pain he finds darla with her with her head stitched back onto her shoulders and um kenny is they're both just light lifeless hollowed out corpses that have been preserved and you see on uh, i believe it's darla's darla's hand she has a ring uh wheaton valley class of 1978 or something like that but we could have jeepers creepers 3 could have been a prequel set in wheaton valley jeepers creepers 3 itself was already set in wheaton valley it could have been set in 1978 wheaton valley following the two missing missing teens kenny and darla we could have picked up uh with those two characters we could have saw their story we could have saw them go to prom we could have saw them get terrorized by the creeper we've couldn't we could have gotten a full a full-length film featuring their demise and how they came across the creeper and how the creeper ended up uh stalking them and preying on them and, and their ultimate demise of course at the hands of the creeper that would have been a much better film it, it i feel like victor Savile could have easily written a, a film that centered on kenny and darla i feel like he really could have d d like just gone more in depth into their characters giving them uh front front face center make them the main characters for a prequel set bef set before the first and second films because um we already have like the the basis of it in the original film based on the fact that they're mentioned 
there's just the, the story was there the, the story was there and i just feel like it was a missed opportunity i feel like the if we're gonna do a jeepers creepers prequel you either said it years before uh any of this stuff or you could have just had a prequel based on the two characters that you brought up in the original film and you may it's actually stated in the film that uh kenny and darla were killed in like night the late 70s so they easily could have had jeepers creepers 3 said in the late 70s kenny and darla could have uh been our two lead characters we could have spent time with them learned a bit more about what went on with those two high school sweethearts uh they were i believe they were both prom king and queen uh we could have just witnessed them maybe we got an even returning character perhaps giselle could have been in it um i don't know if they would have gotten the same woman maybe they would have gotten someone who was a bit younger to play giselle uh giselle could have been in it maybe we find out that giselle actually had some type of contact with kenny and darla the same way she did with trisha and Derry. um i don't know i just feel like if jeepers creepers 3 was going to be a prequel it should have been a prequel that was about kenny and darla the two high school sweethearts that Derry found down in the creepers house of house of pain in the original film uh let me know what you guys think about that think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video and down in the comment section i'm going to have a link to the facebook group go ahead and join that facebook group if you want to discuss anything horror related and stay up to date on anything regarding jeepers creepers